Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. This is me, Kathy Brock, live for LUTG Radio. Remember, that stands for Let Us Thank God. So thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, for another day. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for a place to lay my head. That's right, y'all. Let's give him thanks. Thank you, Lord, for a place to do the show. Thank you, Lord, for the internet that I can do it. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the computer. Thank you, Lord, for the desk. Thank you, Lord, for the facilities. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. The broadcast live out of my apartment every morning. Uh, I am believing for a studio. Absolutely sure am. I'm believing for a whole bunch of stuff. But most importantly, I am believing that you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the whole purpose for this. When I started this a couple years ago, that's the whole point. To get people saved. Amen, amen, amen. You you don't want to be alone. You want to be in heaven with Jesus. You definitely don't want to be in hell. Not all you going to tell us that you've been there. Uh, Jesus got me before I went there. And then in a dream, he showed me some stuff. And he showed me how people were being deceived. Um, and it ain't a pretty thing. And, and the enemy will use, he'll, he'll use words, just simple things, to make you think that you can't get out of a situation. To make you think that you have no choice. I kid you not. It's bananas. But Jesus. Call on Jesus for everything. Call on Jesus. So if you are unsaved and you want to be saved and you want to get out of the situation you're in, say, Jesus, save me. Some of you guys are in prison because you committed something stupid. You, you did something because, well, your buddy dared you or because, well, you didn't want to look like a punk. Well, you in jail now and your buddy is free. How crazy does that look? Come on, man. Call on Jesus. You ain't got to be all loud to say, Jesus, save me. Save me, Jesus. He hears you. All right? And remember, don't do something just because you're trying to look like, you know, the big kahuna. You're trying to look like the big man or the, or the girl with some guts. Don't do it. Forget about that. Walk away. I know I have plenty of times for it. I don't care what you think. That was my whole thing. <laughs> What do I care about looking good in your eyes? I'm thinking about my father and my mother. What they going to say to me? You mean to tell me you did that because you worried about what your little nappy head friend said? You worried about them? They ain't in trouble. You are. Oh, you going to jail because this dude said they will pay you some money when you get out? How you know he going to do that? How you know he ain't going to be dead? How you know he going to give it to you? That's stupid. Let him go to jail for himself. Forget that. Don't do it. Oh, well, he said he was going to kill me. Well, somebody could kill you in jail. He could have, he could order somebody to kill you in jail. Then what? So really, we you got to be able to think for yourself. You, you really must think for yourself. Uh, I've been hearing news reports off and on about people doing all kinds of crazy, stupid things. Things that they wouldn't ordinarily do because somebody told them to do it. Think for yourself. This teacher took some kids to a strip club. To a strip club. These are teenagers. Well over the age of 12, which means when you get to a certain age, at the age of 12, you can pretty much say, no, I don't want that. Or no, my father or my parents wouldn't want me to do that. You, you, It's like a maturity age. And the Jewish custom... You become a man, mentally. Or, you you know, it's the first step to becoming a man. So, you know, it's puberty. So what I'm saying is, teach your kids to say no, even when an authority figure tells them that it's okay. It is not okay to take kids to a, street, to a strip club. It's not okay to give kids alcohol. I don't care if they drink alcohol with their grandpa on the porch. I don't care if they, their parents own a liquor store or a brewery. Don't give no kids alcohol. 
And kid, if somebody offer you that kind of stuff, bud, alcohol, whatever, drugs, say no, walk away. Because anytime somebody going to take you to a strip club, chances are somebody going to see you there and they're going to ask you to do what you just saw at that strip club. And they're going to put it on film and put it all over the internet. That stuff happens. That's real deal stuff. So parents, open up your mouth and say, hey, don't do that. And let them know, if you get in trouble, you can call me no matter what's happened, no matter where you at, and I ain't going to be mad. Tell them that. Tell them, you can call me no matter where you at, and I will come get you. No matter where you at, tell them that. Be sure you tell them that over and over again because you want them alive you want them safe. You want them to know that they can come to mommy, they can come to daddy, no matter what it is. Because chances are somebody that got them into something that they shouldn't be into. So tell your kids to say no to that garbage and tell them to call you, run home, call you, and you will come get them. No matter what you're doing, you will come get them. Alright? Tell them. They need to hear that. We got that altar call coming up. Amen. The last five, we've got the uh, ministry minutes. Amen. Talking about faith and hope. Amen. About halfway through. Here's In the House by Iviza.
We love working hard for you at Soul Switch. So if you're in the UK and you need medical insurance or you want to check out the new rates, check out a free quote online at www.lutgradionetwork.com.
Save on ink and toner. Top quality, fast delivery, low prices. Double ink at lutgradionetwork.com. That's double ink at lutgradionetwork.com. Amen, amen, amen. It's about the time for Ministry Minutes. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio. That's uh, Let Us Thank God Radio. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. And he wants to give you the tools to take control of your life. And the very first tool he gives you is faith. You like faith is a tool. Faith is a mighty muscle. It's a belief. Amen. It means to believe in something. Like um, there's faith in the mighty dollar. Well, without people believing that it's strong and that it can produce and buy things, it grows weak. If you don't believe that Jesus is Lord, then you won't accept him as your Lord and Savior. You won't be forgiven of your sins. And, well, you won't get into heaven. And, uh, well, faith is a very important thing. When we look at the book of Hebrews, and we quote this every morning, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a, good, obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gift. How many of y'all want God to testify for you? That's what I'm talking about. And by it being dead yet speaketh. When uh, Cain had killed uh, Abel, his blood cried out because he was righteous. By faith Enoch was translated by uh, that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, meaning God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of God of things had not um, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should um, which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise as uh, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which uh, hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith, amen, it keeps saying, through faith, through faith. Amen. Um, even, even Peter, Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church. And Jesus was speaking faith. He was speaking faith and he was talking about Peter. Because he, he knew that once he showed Peter uh, his wicked ways, that Peter would uh, repent and follow him. And he would tell everyone about Jesus. And so Peter did. So Jesus built the church upon Peter, the rock. He called Peter the rock. You're responsible for a thing that you name, and Jesus named them. They called him the Rock, Peter. So, um, have faith in Jesus. Have faith in God. God named you. He made you. You're made in His image. He died on a cross for you. And He has a new name for you. And one of those names is faithful, righteous, holy. Have faith in Jesus. Trust Him with everything. You're looking for increase? Trust Him with that. You're looking for, for healing? Trust Him with that. You definitely want salvation? Trust Him. He's already provided it for you. All you got to do is say yes. Amen? Have faith. 
Amen, amen. Your control begins with faith in Jesus. Amen for that mind of Christ's forgiveness. We got salvation coming up for you in just a few minutes. Up next, Take Control by Skylar Kalen. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have the everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved salvation is now and salvation is for you no need to delay anymore know that Jesus loves you 100% regardless of your past he loves you just as you are when he looks at you he says beautifully and wonderfully made. 
He loves you. He doesn't want you cutting off your limbs thinking that that'll make you beautiful. And he loves you even if you may have lost a limb or maybe you were born without a limb. He can replace it for you. Have faith. Trust Jesus with all your hurt and all your pain. He heals the broken in heart and bind up their wounds. Trust Jesus. If he can bring me back from death, he can definitely deliver you. He saved my soul. He brought me, he, he revived me that I would live again, meaning that I would have an opportunity to repent of my sins and accept him into my heart. Jesus did that for me. Because there was a man named Jeremiah that prayed for me. And there was a woman named Josephine that prayed for me. They prayed that I would receive salvation before I left this earth. And that I did. So if you want to receive salvation, you want to know the love of God, which I'm, I know the love of God. He's true. He's the real deal. Jesus is Lord. If you want to know his love, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to lutgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find the church, get baptized at water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Uh, know that Jesus absolutely loves you. Tell him that you got saved on the LUTG radio. Thank you, Lord, for the successful show of the many so saved by the word of God, now covered in the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We believe you love us and receive your love, for we are the beloved. Thank you, Lord. You be glorified in all the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the nombre de Jesus. Amen. Remember, therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Remember, Jesus loves you. He wants to hear your praise. Amen. Love the Lord. He loves you 100%. That's the real deal. Jesus absolutely 100% loves you. Without a doubt. All right? Praise the Lord. Um, Tomorrow is Friday. Hey, right? so I'll be here. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Uh, this is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio. Definitely check out uh, Brock FM Radio. There's um, music all day long, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Amen, amen, amen. And it's Christian rap, Christian soul, R&B and whatnot. We've got that going on for you. Just because, you know, here you you know, you know hear me live. And uh, there uh, I'm, I'm totally recorded. But um, I'm there in and out. And uh, you'll even also hear the uh, podcast uh, on there for LUTG Radio. Uh, so, we, you know, we're doing it, trying to do it 24-7, get people saved, give you some good music to listen to, some alternatives uh, to the secular music. I love, you know, I love everybody. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, you know, not sometimes, we do need to hear the praises of God and uh, every form of music. So, hey, here we go. Rock FM Radio got it going 24-7. You can get that at mitzvah.com forward slash Barack, B-A-R-A-K. FM radio. Amen? And that means praise. Rock means praise unto God. So that's where that came from. Remember, Jesus loves you definitely more than I do, and he gives me the strength to love you and gives you the strength to love me. So let's love one another like he says and be a blessing and tell somebody about Jesus. Remember, everyone is reachable with the word of God. Let God do the work. Amen? You just be willing. 
Amen. Let God speak through you. You just be willing. He says, greater things than I shall you do because I go to my Father. Say, I volunteer, Lord. I'll do it. I believe I can do greater things than you because you said so. Amen. And remember to give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. I am your servant. Hallelujah. You are my father. You are my bridegroom, my brother. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. You're everything to me. Amen. Everything. Jesus loves you, beloved. Have a great day. This is Kathy Brox for LUT.